Palo Alto's University Avenue is a staple of the city's downtown district, filled with restaurants, retail, and more. For more than a year during the coronavirus pandemic, the city's busiest street was also close to car traffic, which allowed restaurants to offer outdoor dining to customers on the street. However, last month, the Palo Alto City Council voted to reopen University Avenue to vehicle traffic, forcing businesses to shut down these outdoor dining areas. The city's decision comes at a cost, for businesses like Oren's Hummus, an Israeli restaurant with a location on University Avenue. The restaurant's owner, Misty Bolton, predicts the streets reopening to car traffic will hurt restaurants like hers. I think it's going to be a, a, a huge negative impact. Uh, one, because of the fact that we're a very small, narrow restaurant. And so our seats and tables, if you're familiar with our restaurants, it's very cramped already. So, you know, we're worried that once they take the streets and reopen back up on October 15th, that we're not going to end up being able to have the same number of guests wanting to even dine with us because they're not going to feel comfortable or safe with sitting, you know, with someone right next to them so closely. Um, so that definitely is going to be a concern with for us as a company. I foresee that we're going to lose a lot of business. This open street initiative originally started last summer, when the city decided to close a few blocks of University Avenue to car traffic, as well as Ramona Street and California Avenue later in the year. But after more than a year of this plan going into effect, the city decided that it was time to return to an open University Avenue. Palo Alto Mayor Tom Du Bois, who was involved in this discussion regarding the reopening of Palo Alto streets, explains how this decision was reached. I understand like a lot of people really like eating outdoors um, but the streets were being closed you know 24 hours a day um, but being kind of deserted except for at, at dinner time and on the weekends so you had a lot of time during the daytime that the streets were closed and really not much was happening the other thing is we're going into winter and um, a lot of the retailers were saying how important the holiday season was and they missed another one that was likely a lot of them would go out of business as Du Bois explains, many retail businesses in the closed-off sections of the avenue will also be affected by this change. Even though many restaurants and diners have raved about an open University Avenue, many retail stores have correlated the car-free alignment to a major drop-off in sales tax. These non-food retailers hope that a reopened University Avenue will help increase business in the downtown area. There is also still a possibility that the street will be open to outdoor dining again in the future. According to Du Bois, the city is proposing the implementation of automated gates, which could automatically open the street on certain days or hours. I, I think if we put in these automatic gates, like we could close it on weekends, we could close it in the evenings. However, restaurant owners like Bolton are not hopeful that this plan will become a feasible reality. I have already talked about having, you know, like weekends here and there being able to open back up. I personally think that's a joke um, because for us as a company, like we have spent $30,000, if not more, on making our outdoors inviting and enjoyable for our guests. There's a lot of work that went into that and it takes all day to take those tents down. So it's not something that I, I foresee that we're gonna be able to do. Regardless of the future of the city street alignment, the real impact on Palo Alto business during this current phase of the pandemic still remains to be seen. Foreign Focus, I'm Anish Dewari.